Hey there. Today we're going to talk about how to deal with imposter syndrome. So have you ever had the thought, who do you think you are? How often does that happen to you when you go into your business and you're working on something and you're not sure how it works and you're like, what did I get myself into, <laughs> right? And then you start to question your authority to be in this place. So first off, how do you deal with imposter sy syndrome? You don't. It's part of the process. Nothing has gone wrong. If you don't feel like you fit in or you belong, it's because... Maybe you don't, right? It's normal. In fact, it would be really weird if you did, right? Like if you were just like, yes, this is totally where I belong. I am supposed to be here. That might be kind of strange when you're a new beginner, right? How often have we started something and we're like, oh, I don't like doing that because I'm not very good at it, right? That's what imposter syndrome is, right? We step into this new position as CEO, president, entrepreneur, whatever it is, and we think, but I'm not very good at this. Who am I? Who do I think I am that I can do this? Okay, so it's totally normal. But um, I want you to know that as long as like, as long as you're an honest person, not trying to pull anything over on anyone, then you're probably fine. So you may not really belong in the room yet, whatever that means. You don't belong in this space because you're a newbie. It's totally fine. Be the beginner own this beginnerness uh, quality about you. This is actually a strength to be a beginner. This is actually something they talk about in meditation. That's the beginner's mindset. This is actually a great place to be in because we go in, we're not the expert. And so we can have lots of questions. We can be really open to learning and to growth. It's actually a great place to be at. So, right, people want to make you think that something is wrong with you if you feel like an imposter. But as long as seriously, you're not like trying to be an imposter, right? You're not trying to con anyone, then you're fine. It's fine to be that way. Okay. So you may be a new entrepreneur and that's okay. Everyone started as a new entrepreneur at some point. Everybody, everybody didn't belong. Everybody was a beginner at some point. It's totally fine. When you stop fighting this, then you leave room for yourself to ask lots of questions. Like I said, you're open to learning. You're open to growth. It's amazing. Okay. So be the beginner. Be like, if your brain's like, but I don't belong here. It's like, yeah, that's right. You don't. You need to learn a lot. That's right. That means you're pushing your identity. You're stepping out. This is exactly the path that you're supposed to be on. In fact, use that I that imposter syndrome, that feeling to know that you're on the right path. You're doing it right. Okay. Next, it's all made up the entire system all the titles, all the information, someone somewhere invented that you should feel like you don't belong or that you should belong, right? Someone somewhere made up the title of CEO, president, or entrepreneur. Someone somewhere made up the rules of the game. They're just all made up. All of these things came from people's brains. It's not really like objective, concrete things. These are all just made up, okay? So know that others are pushing themselves out of their comfort zones and filling it as well. You are not alone. Even people who are way ahead of you, right? People who have been in the business, who have been entrepreneurs for a long time, who've been entrepreneurs, they feel those same things too when they're pushing themselves outside of their comfort zone. It's normal to feel this. It means you're on the right path. Okay, so what does this look like? Validate, always validate yourself. Of course, I feel like an imposter. Of course, I feel like I don't belong. This is all new to me. Of course, I feel like a new beginner. It doesn't mean anything is wrong. I love that. You can always add that. And it's okay. Nothing's gone wrong here. Uh, anything like along those lines can really help, right? One of my favorites is also like, and I am safe, right? So like, of course, I don't feel good. Of course, this is scary and new. And it's safe. And I'm safe, okay? Something along those lines or nothing has gone wrong. Okay, lastly, answer the question that we posed in the very beginning of this. Who do you think you are? Where do you get your authority? This is who you are. So answer the question. 
Maybe it looks like I'm a human being that has every right to be here. I'm a human that is learning, right? Where is your authority come from? Maybe it's, I'm a child of God. Maybe it's, I am a spirit of the universe, right? Whatever that thing is for you, right? Find that. Where is that authority? And answer that question when your brain throws it out at you. Okay, hopefully this helps, right? Nothing's gone wrong. Sometimes we're going to feel like imposters. Sometimes we're going to feel like we don't know, like we don't belong. Sometimes that's exactly where we need to go, right? And then follow up, right? Validate those feelings. It's totally normal. We don't know where they came from. Probably society, probably our parents, probably our teachers, but we still validate ourselves that we have these feelings. And then we choose, we get to tap into that higher intellectual thinking by calming our nervous system down, answering the questions, and then asking ourselves really good questions that might get us thinking. Write those thoughts down so when we have these thoughts and feelings that come up, we can know where to turn to and we can practice those thoughts over and over again. Okay, hopefully this helps. And also it was kind of a short and sweet one, but we dive a lot more into this in my course, The Confident Entrepreneur. If that's something you want to do and you enjoy small group coaching, definitely look into that. Um, it may or may not be open when I this runs, but always you can always DM me and ask me when the next one will open or you can get on my email list and I will let you know. Um, also, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. If that's something you're interested in, we can definitely tackle imposter syndrome and getting our thoughts and the ideas wrapped around that. And then um, I offer a free consultation for that. You can go, there'll be links in the show note that you can tap on. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around and I'll talk to you all later. Thanks, bye.